Yo. So today is June 8th and got a thunderstorm warning over the area. This is lightning lab number four. Okay, so um, yesterday was a, a storm that popped up out of nowhere, so I didn't really... Uh, count that as... Is that a piece of hail? Yeah, it's hailing. It's hailing. Little pea sized hails. So um, yesterday's storm, I don't really consider it a lightning lab because I wasn't prepared. This one, I'll be able to start from the beginning carefully. So um, hopefully I can capture some good <laughs> footage here. It's up the yacht though. Uh, it's not really, I mean, there might be some small hails now coming down, but it's not where it was just a moment ago. I mean, hail is not like a common thing to happen in storms around here. So when it does, it usually means, <laughs> you know, it's usually a sign. There have been some strong lightnings and thunders. Um, so, because, oh, I saw another two fail. Um, so, because I was able to like, front run this and have everything set up and be more set, like be more set up than normal. Oh, it's failing. Oh, it's again. They look to be about dime size, maybe smaller. Between... Yeah, somewhere in there. And this is coming in from the northwest, like straight down to 90 basically if you know Houston. Um, I mean, now the hail's coming back down again. It's decently sized. You might even be able to see it flicking off the off the roof above. I would move the camera, but I don't want to adjust. And then there's a lightning strike because I know that would happen.
Okay, I am gonna show it actually. Real quick. Whoa. Just got super intense for a second. getting to like this is crazy intense oh my god I mean, this is, this is nuts. I'm a little more surprised more water's not coming in, but it's flowing more that way, which is why. But there's still hail in it. Ooh, I just got deep and you saw that. So to, to reestablish this, uh, the common reoccurring theme in my video for the Lightning Lab uh, videos is that there are three actions types of actions that generally draw lightning most commonly and then there's some others that also will commonly do it but three of them are more potent it seems and that's talking this kind of kneeling lunge thing um where i'm pressed in going through my right leg and you know generally when i adjust like this You'll see something. <laughs> like, as well, when I do this and I press in through my right leg, or make a subtle adjustment in how I'm pressing. That was really strong for just a moment. Woo! Pressed in really hard on the right side. I really hope the uh, GoPro is still up <laughs> because that was quite strong, but it's not obscured. Actually, give me one second. I don't know if that means water got inside, I hope not. It would be fine if it sits on the outside. GoPro. 
Don't make me, if I'm trying to get in, don't make me have to put in the date. I don't care about the, the date or time. And it's really frustrating that it forces me to have to put that in before I... Uh, I mean, that should tell you how strong this this storm is. I'll be right back. Came, like the wind just came down. I mean, I'm soaked, and I don't know, this might even ruin the GoPro because I can't get it to sit. You can't tell, I'm literally soaked. This is one of the, the ditches are already filling up, like, this is one of the strongest storms we had, we've had in a while, or highest rainfall, <laughs> it feels like. Hopefully Yahweh would make up for, for it with something like really good. It's a really good instant search. Oh, hold on. Feels like everything that could, like I, I was decently prepared for this, but everything that, 
that could go wrong is like going wrong. Hopefully the uh, other camera doesn't get knocked down. tell that lightning happened right as I did that back bend. That's another one of the things, but it's just less common. Though a lot of the time when I do it, it seems to something, but I just don't do it as much as this that I'm doing here. There's already like minor streaks, like the streaks have more water than, like it's pooling a little on the on the streets and in the yards and stuff. All right, y'all, you got anything magnificent? Something incredible to make up for all the the troubles of this video so far. I mean, there is already a lot of water pulling in the drains.
Okay, I think we're past the chaotic part. I even tried to secure using that, like this type of tripod where it wraps. I mean, it, it was like wrapped around the, the place that it normally is. And, uh, it still fell over, which is a first, um, or extremely rare. I can't really remember another time that it specifically did it. There's a flash. Be nice if there was something like right in that corridor, which is I think where the storms are, so there could be some nice uh, pixie something, but whatever. A also notice I'm like pressed in on the right side here. Notice how as I'm making micro adjustments, that's one of the things is like I'm adjusting like I've said before. Like it adjusts how I can get in higher up the of muscle chain. So it like affects larger than just if I adjust my foot. Like that seemed pretty at the same time. Well, strong rain, wind, little hail, some impressive lightning. It's really unfortunate that the GoPro was knocked down for any period of time, honestly. But, okay, I'll get over it. Maybe. <laughs> I definitely still think we could see some pretty incredible lightning, uh, just because we're catching the tail end and now, like, it's passed that way, so, you know, it would be in front of the cameras, instead of, like, above, or maybe it would be, like, right above, perspective-wise. Also, deep inhales and exhales seem to. <laughs> so sometimes I try to combine different things that I'm doing, like, you know, breathing with this or talking with whatever. And then one of them will usually look more, more like the thing that drew it out.
I mean, when I did that, I, I'm on one leg right now. I'm braced on the window. So I saw a flash immediately when I did that. And again, yes, it's a lightning storm, but you know, the number of times where there's a break and then I do like a break in the lightning and then I do something like this and then you see a large lightning, it's enough to, you know, in my opinion, show like it's not just that it's a lightning storm. You know, there is an element of interaction like, like that, you know. And it's, ooh. Uh, it's more, in my opinion, like interacting with Yahweh, with Yah. Like, yeah, do you have anything? I don't know, part of this is also, like, I'm not trying to test Yah. Like, I'm not trying to test Yahweh, you know? Uh, I feel like when people try to test me, I don't like it, personally. And I can understand why Yahweh, who is actually all-powerful and in control of everything, like, why would he have to show anybody anything? I think it's a blessing that I get to see, personally, that I get to see as much as I do, and then I think I get to share that. And a lot of it is also like, well, I'm in the moment and experiencing it and I can feel it. Whereas like you guys get to see a recording and it at times looks very supernatural. Like it's obvious that, you know, there is a, an intelligent entity, as I've said, all knowing, like in infinitely wise entity that can just direct every little thing. And, you know, even though I'd like to see, like, crazy lightning all the time, in my opinion, Yahweh knows better to win, like, hey, like, let me put this here, let me do this, let me, you know, in this way, like, I know you'd like to see whatever, whatever show, but, you know, it might not be to your advantage. Notice the little micro-movements. Uh, it might not be to your advantage to just have constant, to see that constantly. And uh, I've also thought like, I think there's some stuff going on that way. I mean, obviously that's what I was saying, but I keep seeing something in one specific spot. It might be over downtown, as a lot of those buildings would be like lightning rods, I guess. Um, but that Yah's like, you know, I'm doing this and you see it and it's like hinting at it very strongly, right? Uh, it, to say the least. And doing this over a, a good period of time and then just, you know, it's kind of one of those things Well, like, do other people, are other people gonna acknowledge the obvious? Like you can obviously see some of this and it's not normal. Uh, but it's not quite at the level where I'm just like, lightning, 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 you know what I mean? And, and it's and it's happening. But what it, my, my point is like, if Yahweh just does that, you know what I mean? Where he's like, all right, you're getting a little more control over it each time. And like, eventually it's gonna be to the point where it's undeniable. But all this time that was spent where people are pretending that it's not happening and yet it's clearly not normal and like there are people getting hurt like in the in the storm not the last 5 p.m storm but in lightning lab number three someone died from a lightning strike here in houston and like what was it me then you should be listening to me was it like was it yahweh i mean like it, it was it just random it was just random is what you're saying like i don't think anything is just random but, uh, you know, my point, again, as I've said, is 
if you believe in Yahweh and something happens to you, you're literally like in the singularity in the future where nobody ever dies again and like all sadness and bad things are defeated and you know, reality is 10 out of 10 perfect, 11 out of 10 perfect, like, but right now something's holding that singularity back and uh, part of that is just associated with seemingly to me, people just lying about what they can and can't see in these, in these videos or in my reality and I'm just making sense like, I make more sense out of Christianity and what it says in the Bible than like all sorts of religious figures and can pretty easily prove or at least give the resources to show how Islam, Islam, Islam is a sham. It's a fan fiction religion. <laughs> and so like, you know, my belief is it's like, you know how Saudi Arabia is buying all the, you know, the PGA and they're trying to like get all these uh, soccer players. Like they only missed out on Lionel Messi because he didn't, he, he would prioritize his family over one point something billion dollars. Well, like, you know, if you have enough money to throw at something, they've created a giant mecca, literally, you know, the Japanese style mecca. And they're like, you know, it's a fan fiction religion that's trying to use something to like take over what deity is. In other words, what an L or what the L is. In other words, Allah. But trust me, the L is Yah. It's Yo, Yahweh. God is just a title. It's not, it's not a name. But, you know, if you listen to the Shahada, there is no God but God. That sounds stupid. You sound stupid when you say that. There's no God but God. Okay, thank you, Captain Obvious. But which God? Like, the God. Okay, which God is the God? Now that you can't answer that in a, in a way that doesn't sound stupid. Uh, <laughs> Literally got people cutting people's heads off over a fake fan fiction of religion. And if you believe in God and you're Muslim, believe in Yahweh. That's the whole point of the Bible and Christianity. It's that, oh, you believe in Yahweh, who is the God, the El, Ha El, Elohim, Teon, you know, Theon, whatever. Are you mad that I'm ripping into your fan fiction religion and you don't have good responses? Well, you know, don't follow fan fiction religion, follow Yahweh. <laughs> and Jesus, Jesus is Yahweh, you get it? The righteous branch of David, whose name is Yahweh Sid Canoe from Jeremiah 23, five and six. Well, if his name is Yahweh, our righteousness, and he's the righteous branch of David, he's probably Yahweh, right? So. Yah, Jesus is Yah. He even changes his name in Revelation uh, like 312. So Christians who wanna argue with me, he has a new name. What is that name? You don't have it if you ain't saying uh, the obvious, like, you know, as he associates it with the name of his father and the name of the city of the future, the heavenly Jerusalem, AKA. Very likely the Yahweh Shema which means Yahweh is there from Ezekiel 48, 35. Anyway, um, you know, it seems more and more that, like, you know, looking at my story and pictures and stuff and looking at what people are 
like seemingly signaling at me on Instagram. Like, uh, like why, why is Gal Gadot posting a Got Milk thing? I mean, it's really obvious. Wet Milkins and like, I mean, this is why I feel like I'm in some kind of Truman Show thing. I mean, is it gang stalking or is it a Truman Show thing? Because someone's watching me for sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it seems like a group of celebrity, it's like, has nothing better to do than, but, uh, than to harass me. And then when I lashed out at people, or claiming I'm harassing people, it's like, well, y'all are all watching me in a way that probably illegal and you shouldn't be anyway so it's definitely immoral so why are you why are you doing it and not acknowledging the stuff that i'm talking about about like you know okay literally seemingly they put a, a character in a video game to like attack at me and, ma and attack my mental health and like you know the whole stephanie Justin thing with metal gear solid I mean, Metal Gear, is that more of the mecha thing where it's like, this is how they're creating a mecha is using, using like multiple arms of our society, art, culture, celebrity, music, video games, whatever. Uh-huh. Seems like that's something to do with it. Whatever they can do to minimize Yahweh, they seem to try. I mean, it's like flickering as I'm doing the... So everything is going to be off in the direction that this camera is facing, pretty much. So if there's something to see, it should be that way. Again, very unfortunate that the filter went down, but not really anything I can do about it now. You know, another thought that I have is like, when I put this lightning compilation together and it's really obvious that like something more than normal is going on, something pretty clearly supernatural, like, is the local news not going to cover it? I mean, are they just going to pretend like there's not a dude in Houston that's triggering lightning strikes, like generating them seemingly that the storms are like gathering around? <laughs> like, are they just going to pretend? Is that, like, people are going to pretend? Like, it's going to get to a point where it's, like, kind of like what I was saying, I think, where it's, like, I feel like that's already happening, and it's exactly like that thing that I'm saying where it's, like, at some point it'll just get so obvious, you know, like, pulling lightning straight from the sky, and then it's, like, okay, so you've been ignoring this person. I even hear people on the news say, you know, things about, you know, uh, thank the Lord, it's, like, okay, which Lord? Jesus? Okay, well, the guy from Revelation that uh, meets the conditions to sit on his throne, I'm pretty sure is in Houston, is in, you know, the city where the airport code is literally, yeah. <laughs> so, so, might be wise to engage that somewhat as the reality of the situation, right?
well for as intense as that one was or it is what whatever we're only 40 minutes in so <laughs> at least this camera didn't go out I can see flashes in the distance that way, but I think it's, yeah. Also another one that seems to draw the like lightning stuff is when I'm on my knees like this or in any way, but I've like placed my weight on my right knee, it gets into the certain muscle groups that like I'm trying to engage when I do like this kind of thing. And so like sp more specifically, you'll see me adjust, like I'll do this kind of thing. And there's been a number of lightning strikes where I like place my knee down into the ground and like, it's like this specifically works the, the muscles like right around the knee that seemingly grip it. And like, there's been a number of good lightning strikes when that happens. I guess also with this video, it doesn't have to go to be an hour or like, you know, I could have ended at an hour, which would be like, you know, quicker than a lot of these lightning lab videos. So I might do that. Or at 42 and a half minutes. Also, I noticed, you know, the big news this week is that Lionel Messi's moving to uh, Inner Miami. And like, I noticed that one thing I've noticed is the Houston Dynamo, the Houston, uh, you know, Dynamo is like a, actually a biblical word from the Greek word dunamis, but, uh, or <laughs> there's even a strong concordance, dunamu, but, um, you know, on the new logo, there's a lightning bolt. Hmm. Considering my past issues with the Dynamo, where, you know, one of their employees lied about me and it, like, significantly affected my reality. That was also the year, you know, that the Stephanie Houston stuff blew out, and that was also the year that, hmm, Hurricane Harvey hit Houston. I wonder what triggered that. You know, the year that I lived out of my car for like four months of the year. I wonder what, and like all this other stuff happened. I wonder what triggered that. Probably a good example in, hey, you have a person in Houston that's being like harassed and messed with online and then you do everything you can to not help him and harass him and be hypocrites around him and like lie about him and slander him as seemingly it says in Revelation will happen. It's the whole seven churches thing again, as everything seems to come down to that, because I think that's the point where, you know, Christianity, that's where we are right now. Seven churches stuff. Um, you know, anyway, there's probably a connection between all this stuff, right? I'm gonna pretend that there's not okay well i think yahweh is gonna force the point here over time but by the time he does it all these lying people around me who won't want to who don't want to acknowledge the reality and who are causing problems for other people and yahweh's having to make a point around the situation like you're wrong you're in the wrong you've wronged me like there's it's, it's probably at least at this point verifiable that you've wronged me like I can probably prove it out pretty well and like I still can't get people to acknowledge like even what I'm saying like, why are both Haley Bieber and uh, Gal Gadot sharing um, 
like got milk stuff recently. You know, Haley Bieber's launching like a, a milk, a, a glazing milk product. And this stuff is just like, I think it's supposed to antagonize me personally. Like, I mean, it, it's, there's also some level of, it could be somewhat coincidental, but I don't think so because after the whole Stephanie Joosten thing, the first people that seemingly made a point that they were obviously watching and like, you know, whatever, was like, it looked to me, was Haley Bieber and Bella Hadid. And like, you know, part of me is like, well, you know, to most people that's gonna be like, why are these celebrities watching you? But then at a certain point it becomes obvious. Like I was always linked to this stuff. You can see like the reality of it. If I'm gonna be, the, if I am the guy from Revelation that conquers at the seven churches, well then that's obvious. There isn't a celebrity that's in, in a position of, there isn't a person in a position of more power and there's not a, um, or who's going to be. And there's not like, you know, that person, uh, who's conquering at the seven churches probably <laughs> is like uh, more well known than anybody else uh, that would seem obvious to me And you know, as I've said, am I wrong about this? Well, then you could talk to me face to face and stop pretending that you're not, like, that you're not watching and that you're not trying to signal in some kind of way that's like, I mean, it's just, I think it's meant to antagonize me, but it, like, part of it is, I think it's antagonizing Yahweh. And, um, because the right thing would have just been whatever. And so when Haley Bieber and Justin Bieber are pretending to be Christians when, like, hey, I'm pretty sure the guy who's sitting on the throne of Jesus is, like, trying to get you to engage him, and you, it looks to me like, you know, you've been watching and you're just staying silent on this thing. Like, as I've said, like, a number of people seem to be, and they're just like, how can we antagonize from a distance? You know what I mean? If you don't believe it, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. People believe dumb shit all the time. I.e. Islam. I.e. whatever other religions that make no sense. They don't make no sense at all. Even like what science says, as I've said, where it's just like everything exploded out of nothing. Again, that, that doesn't make sense that doesn't logic out and you're trying to say that this is logical science yeah enough people saying dumb shit like that might confuse most people but to me nothing explodes out of everything explodes out of nothing no that doesn't work because obviously right there's a supreme hyper intelligent being that exists outside of time that created what is our universe just you know and everything's fine-tuned exactly like what it's gonna be or whatever yeah that makes a lot of sense actually compared to everything exploded out of nothing and it's all random chaos and in that chaos you know people steal away control and authority to benefit themselves and so no shit you'd have scientists claiming that everything's random and whatever because you know money flows into them if they can, while sounding smart, end up muddling shit more than it already is. Or confusing stuff more than it already is. Anyway, okay, we're at 50 minutes. And I honestly would like to keep this... Um, at about an hour. So, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do... 
I think I'm gonna go get the GoPro and um, bring it in and then I'll end this and sign off or I'll sign off on one of these and yeah but um You're wondering about, uh, you know, if this is offensive to you, well, in the stone that the builders refused, isn't that like a stumbling stone of offense or something? So, um, and that that's Jesus slash Yahweh, being that they were one and the same. Uh, yeah. And that Jesus is seemingly giving me that stone? Is that the white stone? It seems like it. Also with these celebrity women, did, you know, I'm looking at uh some of this stuff and it seems like it's like medusa related i like guess looking at um dua lipa's collab with uh versace and you know the versace like medusa head but dua lipa with the butterflies and ladybugs and um <laughs> uh you know did medusa try to try to uh you know, turn me into stone and I did like a mirror thing or like even funnier it's like try to turn me into stone it's like ah Jesus is already a stone ah <laughs> uh, throw that shit and hit her in the forehead like Goliath uh, <laughs> alright I'm gonna go down and get the um and then cut her head off as the seemingly the Versace symbolism <laughs> of the Medusa head. Could be. But um, let me go get the... I'll say this too, I'm walking downstairs, I see the news talking about the GoPro, by the way. It literally knocked the battery out of that. <laughs> uh, which is, I don't know if I ever see it knock it down, let alone knock the battery out of it. But, you know, I see the stuff that's going on in New York, they're talking about how the air quality in the Northeast is just terrible. And I'm like, I mean, how hard would it be for Yahweh to just blow that away? You don't think that in and of itself is like a sign that, you know, probably if there's a guy in Houston and you're supposed to be Americans and you're seeing some bullshit go on with me, nobody's saying shit, and yet, you know, everybody's going about their day as normal, and it's like some not normal shit is going on. You don't think Yahweh's just like, just like in the conquest of the promised land, when he's like, just like little, he's like, I won't destroy them all at once. I'll send like hornets. It's like he's just making life a little more difficult. And like probably all you'd have to do to like end a lot of this, oh, it's a little more difficult is like, hey, there's this guy in Houston who's making sense of Christianity in a way that I don't see the Catholic Church doing, I don't see, you know, Mormon Church doing, not that they really follow the actual Bible anyway. I don't see the, uh, you know, they follow the angel moron eye. 
it's a joke. They don't, um, <laughs> but I mean, kind of they do. But uh, what he said to Joseph Smith allegedly, which he didn't say shit. It's just, just like with Muhammad, it's someone making some stuff up in his mind. So that hundred billion dollars that the Mormon Church controls, tax free or whatever, yo, hey, there's probably a better candidate to be using it. Just FYI. <laughs> Seems reasonable to me. But uh, anyway, you know, something like that. You could actually end homelessness in this city. You could, uh, like, just flat out end it, or you know, provide enough services and be like a model city for other cities. You could, um, you know, not have people uh, hungry. You could <sighs> provide job opportunities. You can build the city up, build the infrastructure, like make it a comfortable place for everybody middle class families like eliminate lower class social issues that might exist do a lot with that kind of stuff so instead of just sitting there for like some people who don't actually believe in what the bible says but yet they're using the legal system to keep the money associated with it tax free and they're booking it from people who are believing the bullshit anyway Okay, there's like three minutes left, and um, I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, I just, some of it's just that, like all of it comes out during the storm, and then, I don't know, it's pretty off the cuff here. I just say whatever, which is also maybe a reason like, hey, I'm not afraid to say the truth, which uh, that, I'm pretty sure that bothers people, so... Well, it's just your subjective opinion. You know, I'm going to say that when the world seems to react around me in a way that doesn't with anybody else, I'm going to say that's bullshit. It's more of an objective reality and that, you know, I can have subjective, like, opinion-based things, but there are other things where when I'm just right and people are lying, you know, like uh, Islam or whatever, where it's like, oh, that's obvious bullshit. Or, like, people not engaging... Uh, just a guy with his dog. <laughs> Dog's like rolling around in the ditch. Um, but, you know, probably more reasonable to listen to me. But uh, I guess I'll end this with a uh, welcome to MLS, Matthew. <laughs> Maybe if the weather stuff gets crazy enough, and it's so obviously tied to me, and it's, you know, people are dying here in Houston and stuff, maybe the dynamo will actually be held to account. And, you know, I don't know, maybe you might see me in MLS. Kind of like, force my way into the situation. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, all right, that's gonna be it. Ending this video here, so. There's going to be 30 seconds left here, and I'm going to go over there. So, all right. Have a blessed one later. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That's going to be the end of this video. I want it to be exactly like an hour or just less than an hour. So I hope you've enjoyed. And um, that's Lightning Lab number four. And it's unfortunate the GoPro fell, but, you know. Hair's kind of crazy because it's all wet. But anyway, all right. Have a blessed one. Later. Yeah.